150 for all of it. Do you know if the um, if the drone actually works? I'm good. Wow. That one flips. So it's two dolls for the price of one. <laughs> well, you have a lot of CDs, huh? Oh, yes. My well, father my is a husband music man. He's a bunker on things like that. <laughs> and he likes stuff. He didn't have, you know, like, like most people have, like, country western or. Well, you know, what one specific unit? He oh was, yeah, not one genre. He had all kinds. Yeah, he, he, he was a music man. He loved all sorts of music. <laughs> well, I love music too. <laughs> so. Oh, that's interesting. Regular CDs are just a dollar. Okay. How much are your records? Uh, two. Two each? Okay. I probably could sell them on the internet for a lot more, but I don't know how to do that. I don't want to spend the time on it. I got you. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Um, fifty cents <laughs> oh, oh. Did you get that last lady? I forgot about her. <laughs> I forgot about the peanuts. <laughs> about eight or nine years ago, my husband went out on the internet and found that one of the albums of the Elvises that I have two of was selling um, for like. Five hundred dollars each. Well, if, if was it sealed, brand new? No. Because okay. they has to be. It has to. That's another thing. Yeah, that's you look. You look on the internet. They're not worth what you think they are. Yeah. Um, but, this, but they have to be sealed. I can tell you. Was, it was the reason it was that so much was because it was the one that was going between mono and uh, stereo, and it was combined or something like that. Yeah. And so that's why they did it like that. Oh my gosh, you have every Elvis album. Yeah, I was the Elvis freak, okay? <laughs> um, would you take 50 bucks for all of them? Because I don't want to really pick and choose. I'd rather just pick. Yeah. How many are there? Oh, I don't know. I You want me to count them all, I will, and then... Yeah. You know, if if you prefer, I count them all, and then yeah. and then we work, make a deal. If okay, let's say if I buy them all like a dollar piece, would you do that? If I buy them all. So far, Bob. Well, you said fifty dollars. But now that I might, I might be giving you more if I no, do a dollar we piece. No clue. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Mm. That's why I was, you know. But do you think like all the Elvises? Oh yeah. She has like almost all of them, so. I feel like I'm getting rid of a friend. Yeah. <laughs> I've had the 10, best. 11, 12. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Double, is it a double? This one's like stuck together. Oh, I don't know, let me see. I'll think about that one. 14, 15, 16. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. Oh, I know. I, I, I was, I, yeah, sixty-two. I just, I'll just count them all. Sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two. Oh, I know. I, I, I was, yeah, sixty-two. I just, I'll just count them all. Sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. 72, 73, 74. I think that's probably going to go on one of these uh, West Side Story. <laughs> sit, Mike, sit. Oh, what we got here? And I think this one has like two or three albums in one. A box one. How about 70 bucks? Okay. Okay. What, how, what is this stuff? I have no clue. It's just some. Oh, Dodgers memorabilia. Okay. Dodgers and Angels. She put it on that table. I'll, I'll look through that stuff too. Uh, I like all that too. Here you go. <coughs> Can I have that um, bottom part to carry it? Can I have the, the container to carry it? Or do you need that? I don't know if that one has a lid or not. Do you, then with the rest do you have a, like a box or something? Maybe if that doesn't work. One moment. Let me go see. Check the lids. Yeah. Yeah, you probably wouldn't put this stuff out on the table. If there's anything in here I like, though. There you go. There you go. You might want to put that stuff out on the table. Okay. Yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Okay, thank you so much. Excuse me. No, that's all. This one hundred fifty for all of it. Do you know if the um, if the drone actually works? So you want? Yeah, because we brought you guys up. Do you know what GoPro uh, version this is? I don't know. Yeah. Frank. Frank. What? What? Do you know what version this is? I think it's a four. It's a four. Does Does the drone actually work? Yes. Yes. It does. Oh yes. Would yeah. you take one twenty? For the whole thing? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh, can I get my... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Take it out? So it's yours now, so I don't want to make it. What's that? The, the card. Oh, you have the card in there? Okay. Oh, how do you take it out? The, I don't... Oh, so you push this here. Uh -huh. So it comes off like this. Okay. And then yeah, I know. I, I... Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know how to work this one. <laughs> so this one, we're going to go like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Here we go. Okay. Do you have the charger for this one? Uh, it's all here. It this, is all in there. Yeah, this right here is the actual charger for the. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Did you just not like using it or what? I still use it. Okay, gotcha. Okay, stop I, I understand. Oh, okay. No. The Rosetta Stone is hard to. This is cool. 
You used to? Yeah, you put it in the computer and you talk into it and it types for Okay, it. well, if you want to get it, if you, I'm, I'm getting this for 120 so. Let me just pay this guy for this first. And then, um, I'm trying to um, stay away from movies right now. Unless they're brand new. Are they, hun are they new? Hold on, let me come over there, Laura. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, Here you go, sir. Like ten minutes before you guys Count it out, make sure it's about ten minutes before you guys are You got it. I appreciate this. I'm gonna actually use this. You got it. I actually have a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the actual There you go. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Oh. How much you want for the Xbox? I know. Maybe like thirty How much you want for the 150? With the connect and everything. Do you have any of the games? Uh, yeah. No, they all went. They all went? They all went. <laughs> but that's a good one. We only used it a couple of times. Oh, man. Dang it. I don't have an Xbox One. I don't want to spend one fifty. Hmm. Well, I'm debating. That's good. If you can ask for that one. Let me let me see the movies that you got. Let me see the movies you got. And ask about ask about that and this. This will be on you. No, I think I'll pass on the Harry Potter. Missing the game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, check out the shoes. How you doing? Yeah. 
Yeah, how much you... Oh, sorry. On the clothing? Yeah, it's not big. Oh, how much you want for this Christmas tree? Okay, and then uh, I have this Santa Claus. Dude, he says ho, ho, ho and rolls around. He walks. He does? Yeah. Cool. Five bucks for this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Huh? Four. That's perfect. All right. So the buffalo bus going to take it today? I see what else I can find around here. Sorry. Yeah, bring him over here. I got some Christmas pile going on. Can't wait till you see what's in here. But go ahead and put those up here. I'll see what he wants for those. Oh, this one broke or something. Yeah, I got a Christmas tree. I got a Christmas tree. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the green when I saw it. Yeah. So, that's pretty good. What else you got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Eight. Okay. Oh, you forgot one? Yeah, I think that other stuff got wiped out. I'm letting Laura look around, see what kind of cool stuff she can find. There's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, I think we're ready. I, I got the the tree and the thing in there the, the, for 15. And then um, I, I have eight of these popcorn. I counted out there's eight of these. You want me to count them out again? No, that's fine. And, and then uh, okay. got two games. Got this really cool metal sign. Avon and two cars. So we'll 20, 25 on all that stuff. Uh huh. And then this one, I want 40 bucks for since it's the real deal. Even the cheap repops are 40 bucks. That's, this is a real porcelain. You know, I, I got you. Um, so that's 25, let's see. And you want 40 for that? Do, uh, 25, let's do, you do 50 for everything? That work. That works. Okay. 50, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm gonna need some money from you, Lord. Why don't you give me 25 and then, yeah. Thank you, appreciate it. Sure. Yep. Um, you wanna carry the box and I carry all the rest of the other stuff? Okay. Thanks, sir. Have a good one. I'm sure you, you probably had a lot more early this morning, huh? I had two lawnmowers last weekend. Oh, yeah? Oh, you've been this your second weekend? Yeah, we did Saturday and Sunday last week, and then Saturday. Okay. I'll begin with the vintage part of the cell because... That is what we're out looking for is vintage items. And my wife discovered, as I was looking at this tree, but I'll go over that next. She discovered these popcorn uh, Santa Claus pieces. This one right here is really cool. And it sells for pretty well, uh, the Santa. Now, uh, if we had, it looked like Rudolph. If we had that one together, that so, set sold for about 80 bucks. So... This whole part of the table spent $50. I'm very satisfied with that because we did find one of the Holy Grail items that everyone's looking for, and that is these ceramic Christmas trees. It is missing some of the light bulbs, but that's okay. You can replace that. But the best part is it actually works, which is really good. Um, so if you find these, I paid 10 bucks for that. 
and five dollars for this really cool uh, vintage walking Santa Claus eh, it doesn't sell for a lot but maybe 15 20 bucks one of the really cool pieces is this really pure food products Heinz 57 sign and let's zoom in there it's from 1983 it is definitely really good um, material so uh, I saw this sell online for 40 he wanted 40 but as we lotted it all up he gave me a sweet deal of $50 uh, also picked up a couple of these little vintage cars um, the first one said 93 on it and I said nah but then this one said 1979 Malaysia so I thought well it's got to be worth something I didn't look it up my wife also picked up this Avon Volkswagen uh, it's kind of cool piece it's got the original box yeah I probably sell for like 10 bucks I think she's probably gonna put that in her booth another sale I was looking at the records and I saw that they had pretty much every single Elvis record that you can imagine and one thing I found was this Elvis burning love so if you're ever looking for Elvis albums look for this one the Elvis burning love it doesn't have the original card in it but what I'll do is I'll go through every album and see if I can find the actual card but this one the actual Elvis moody blue look and it's a blue album really cool had the actual card in it so that's complete that makes this more valuable so I paid basically a dollar a piece she wanted two dollars I offered her fifty dollars for everything she didn't want to take fifty for it and I, I don't blame her I said do you want me to count them up and then counted it up it was a little over 70 there are some albums in here look at this Richard Simmons and uh, some other ones let's see Ray Stevens um, but up over 50 of them are Elvis Presley and we got burning love that one's cool here's another double album Elvis in person at the International Hotel Las Vegas Elvis back in Memphis so that's a double album this one's really cool Elvis rust about Elvis look at that so a lot, lot of the movie albums uh, a lot of live like Elvis raised on rock and this one Elvis pure gold I don't know if this album is gold I don't think so no it's not another thing at this particular sale for the $50 is we got ticket to ride Europe it is in complete condition uh, if you look look for the ticket to rides if you can find the brand new one at garage sales those go for about 50 60 bucks this one I can get for 25 and then always look out for chess pieces sets and this is a magnetic standing chess and checker set let's look at it check it out really cool yep i'm not even sure if it's well i'll have to check and make sure it's complete um if it is that is definitely an easy 15 20 dollars so let me show the rest like i said most of these albums are going to go in the booth my wife's booth and she can sell them anywhere from five to ten bucks so that's that's gold right there that actually pays for her rent now let's go over the remainder of the haul we did stop at one estate sale Today was 50% off. It was the third day of the sale. So there was slim pickings. Let's start out with that. I got a Eaton American Red Cross radio. This is one of those hand crank radios, I believe. Yeah, look, hand turbine technology. And it does, I think it takes battery power and you can crank it, which is really good, especially for emergencies. Uh, I paid $1.50 for this because it was regular $3.00. And I decided this year I'm going to start looking more in jewelry because, you know, jewelry always seems to be a hit. Now, what I did was I picked up these ter two sterling silver necklaces. Make sure that you see 925 on because that's how you can validate if this is actually sterling silver. I picked up a Michael Kors watch. Now, I know that really the high-end purses is really the line for Michael Kors. But I looked this one up and saw, saw it sold for 100 bucks. So... It was $12.50. I figured, hey, I'm going to put a battery in here and shoot for at least $60, $70 for that. So not bad. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is try to get into custom jewelry. I watch Froggy Flips, and he's been selling a lot of good custom jewelry. But I don't think these are vintage. i got to look more into the backings. I think there's particular backings. These look very new and modern, so I'm not sure about that. Always look for golf clubs, as you can see in my prior videos. Uh, this is an Odyssey White Hot. Always look for the White Hot putters. And this is an Odyssey number four. I just sold a Ice Hot number two from a prior sale today for $62, which I picked up for two. 
I picked this up for five for myself. It's got a really good grip and it's actually got the white hot grip. So this is a full Odyssey club. Um, always look at it look white hot. So make sure you look out for these. This one's going in my own personal collection. We went to another sale and I always look out for Sorel boots. These are really good. And these are in really good condition. I just need to clean them up. Paid $10 for these. And I can probably definitely get like 50 to 75 for those. I'm not really sure, but I need to look it up. But really, they're really cool. This top part's leather, and then you got your rubber piece down here. So it's waterproof. And my wife found this really cool box. Look at this. It does have tools in it. And they're just kind of basic tools that he said, whatever's in here, you can have. So um, probably donate that stuff. But the box itself. She saw it going online for over 100 bucks. She is going to ask, I believe, 50 bucks for this at her booth. And it's really cool. It's a really cool storage area. You know, the people that always do crafts and stuff like to store stuff in these. And that's very cool. Now, let's get to the gold mine garage sale. This was the hit of the day. Um, let's start out with this. this is, my wife found this cool, really cool microphone. Uh, you can adjust it. It's got echo, bass, volume, music. These are not really high end. It is a, a China brand. And it looks like someone probably purchased it on Amazon from, you can kind of tell. But anyway, if it does work, uh, maybe I'll give it to the granddaughter. She also picked up this really cool Dragon Natural speaking. As, and it is complete. It, it probably is used, but it did look pr pr practically brand new. Uh, sell that for easily $25, $30. But this is the one of the gold mine items that my wife picked up. An Instix Share SP2. Look this up. This sells for anywhere from $150 to $200. Okay. What it is is a wireless Bluetooth printer that you can connect to your phone and you can do um, your shots out of this. And it's really cool. So all this right here. Well, let's go over everything. And then she got all this for $10. Now. This is the gold mine that I picked up today. I got a GoPro drone, GoPro Karma. I saw this on the container and first of all, I use GoPro products and I bought a small case for my camera that was $50 and look at this. This is just the case alone. I figured the case alone was worth a hundred bucks, but the drone itself is about $300, 250 to 300. And actually I'm gonna make test it out, make sure it's all in working order it's got the extra blades it it also included a gopro 4 camera which is not really good but i don't believe that this stick right here is part of the drone and if that if that's the case then this stick right here is probably another 100 150 bucks so i paid 120 for this on the film you saw that i was looking at a xbox one and I was debating it, but then I I want you to be very precautious when you're looking at video game systems and always buy them as if there are parts. Never buy them in working condition because you do not know that they can fully test. You got to assume that that thing is broken and that the best that you can do is parts. If it works and fully functions, then it's good. But you can't really take word at a garage sale and attest to their word that it's actually going to work. But today was really golden. I didn't think that we were going to find much today. But I did want to point out that when you're going to uh, garage sales, anytime you see the word moving, that is the gold mine because people are leaving the state and they're selling a lot of good stuff. And today we scored really good. So we will see you at the next garage sale.